Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back with more of uh, Legends of the Wind Waker, and I couldn't think of that for a minute. Um, yeah, this should be pretty fun. Uh, the fan is on, so I might turn that off real quick, maybe. Quite possibly. I'm not sure. Probably not. Actually, hold on. Can I reach in front of that? Grab it real quick. Uh, how you doing, fan? How you doing? Oh, it's Link's hair. There we go. Okay, just for now. Keep that off. So, we are back in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And my batteries are charged, and the camera's batteries are charged, and I'm driver like by the way. If you didn't catch on to that, because you're stupid. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, we left off. We're going to go see Nico. The Russian Nico. No, he's American, probably. I don't know, these people are all... I don't know, different races. So here we have... Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's uh, cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it? <laughs> so that basically that's Zelda's room. If we can look past and we see a picture of um, a weird triangle... Oh, I wonder what the heck a bad enough player is all I don't know. So, uh, we got some pots here. We can run to the wall and break those down, get some rupees. On the other side, too. You can see those nice little dust spiders. And Nico! Nico, my cousin! Have you ever had four women at once? Okay. Oh, well, now. Oh, hi there, Swabby. That doesn't sound anything like Nico. As of today, <clears throat> I'm Mrs. Superior. Nico! Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So you do as I say, okay? You just fucking do it. <laughs> and then I'm a baby Nico. Right now, right. Now first off, you have to take the test that all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, Lack. So you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabble brain. That's offensive. First off, you gotta press this switch right here. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt with the control stick forward to step on it. Presto! Switch press. Huh. Huh. He's got a Where's Waldo shirt on. Look at that. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. <laughs> I love that noise he makes. Okay, so I was able to jump this first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! Yeah. And then he swings on the rope. If you jump at the rope, you can grab onto it using the control stick back and forth to swing. Swing until you get close enough in the next part and then press A to let go and jump onto it. So basically, um, using the ropes to swing and jump from each platform. Uh, so do you think you know how to do it? You have to swing from the platform to the platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platform only stay he sounds like Johnny Depp. The platform only stay raised for a uh, little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. This that's the hard part. <laughs> He's right about that. And he just teleported over there. He teepied. Slash TP Nico slash treasure. Or treasure. I don't know. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Imagine if it did take him a year. Oh, God. If you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. For a chuckle. Okay. So, he didn't explain what this switch does. So this switch lowers the things. So, we're gonna... And you hear that ticking? That's the timers. So, while these are down, the timer isn't going. So, we're gonna go ahead and start it up. If you screw up, you're probably gonna wanna go on that switch right there. Okay, so... Swing. And we're almost fall off. And you lock on to change your direction so you face that a lot more easily. Um, and when you're on the things, when you're on the ropes, you can, if you hold R, which I'm going to show this off later, but right now it's not really necessary. Um, you're going to, I'm just trying to get some of the controls out, but uh, you can swing. Okay, so we made it. That was really hard. I did. What? You did it already? Da, 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 uh, I, I, I'm proud to have you as my, as my underling. You. That sounds suggestive. Kind of. 
I, I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby. I'll tell you what. Stop being Johnny Depp. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Nico Berlick. Hurry and take it before someone comes or something. I didn't I read that fast part. Okay, so now we get to one of my favorite parts of the game. In every part of this game, this is going to be like, we're not breaking barrels, I don't like breaking barrels, but quick cat, oh, I can probably, no, you can't take, oh yeah, you can't take your sword out, usually indoors, anyway. Uh, so we can take that, and that, and that, and that, gamey, gamey, and, and hoo, okay. And here's my favorite part of every single time I play this game. Not this part, but every time I open the chest. Can you just open the chest? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You got the spoils bag! You can keep items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on these items to scream. Oh, that's just, you know, you know how to do that already. Blah, 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 blah. So that's just good, just like a bait bag. Okay, here we go. Hey, Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. So you had to do that prop, that challenge. But, um, we go into our inventory here. It's just, it goes in the same category as the, um, bait bag and whatever this is gonna be. But, see, so yeah, we have our bait in here. So if we press X, Y, or Z, we can set that there. And if we press, go on, okay, whoops, uh, there's, we don't have anything yet. We haven't killed a lot of enemies and we haven't gotten loot from them anyway. But we can go back down here. We gotta go up on deck. There's not a lot to do here other than these challenges. But remember, remember how to do this. Make sure you're pretty good at it before you go on. Because you're gonna need to do it later in the game. At a, uh, it's gonna get harder. Okay, um. Ooh, I missed some barrels. Nothing. No money. No money. Okay. And out we go. Ah, it's night time. Oh, Tetra! Hey! Here I am, up here. Hi. Hi, I see you! I see you! I'm coming! Don't you worry! Alright, now this is kind of cool. We can look around and look. That is a Forsaken Fortress over there. We're gonna get a better look at it, though. It's kind of cool, I guess. And up we go. What were you doing with Nico? Nothing. Mom, stop. Don't tell me you're playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Look at our, look at our bangs on this side, so they like, they're like, like, well, that's pretty cool. Whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Check it out. Yep, it's a fortress. And there's that bird thing. There's a lot of asshole birds in this game. Uh, there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout for of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. And they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> I ah, oh, I knew it. Look over there. Where we got? Oh, by that window. Look at that the glowy window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Ooh. She got an idea. I have an idea. I never understood how they got him in that barrel. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. I thought the noises he made here were kind of annoying too. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. See ya. See ya, fucker. <laughs> Bam. And 
we reach our first dungeon, the Forsaken Fortress. I, I count this as a dungeon, even though you don't really... Since we lost our sword, um, we don't really get it throughout any of this. But we do get a tired Link. He looks like a cat there. <laughs> ah! Hi. We so landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. Okay. <laughs> I slipped this into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's an ordinary stone, either. I can see what you're doing this through this stone. And obviously you can hear me through it, so if you see A, the flashy A, you better press that button. And then I put the stone in your quest out of the screen. Uh, or I put the stone in here. Press start and use LRR to scan through. We'll look at that after. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this backup for your sister. You save your sister. It's no code losing it. You understand? Okay. So, um... Yeah. Okay, so we can... We have item screen, and then you can use L or R to switch between. So here's our quest status screen. We show our heart pieces, uh, options, uh, um, whatever that is, whatever this is, whatever this is. Um, we got our shield here, your shield, and we have the pirate's charm. Um, probably gonna save right now, just in case, you know. I'd love to save. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Okay, so onward, and now with these barrels, instead of picking them up, we can hide in them. Because we're going to have to do a lot of hiding and blocking and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so you can't let the searchlight see you. That's our main thing right here. So, they're just going to see a barrel and be like, oh hey, a barrel. It's like it's like playing Metal Gear with a box. Instead, we we're using a barrel though. Ah, there, lighty light, I'm just going to walk this way. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Alright, this level's kind of hard. For a beginning level, it's a little tricky. But you're gonna have to make use of your camera angles. I'm going for these coins, too, or rupees. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. Ooh, that was kind of close. Alright, now I got full money. Right, we should be able to make it all the way over here. Yep. Okay. So now that we made it here, we can go inside. Uh, all right. This is where the harder stuff happens. Um, hopefully I don't get lost in here. Uh, 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 nobody in here. Cool. I don't really need to loot anything. I don't have a bigger wallet, but... You know, just in case. There's rats around here. They'll hit you and they'll take your money and they're big assholes, so... Yeah. And they come out of holes in the wall. I think... Uh, I don't know, can I show them off here? Ah, 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 ah. Um, ah, we'll do it later. Alright, um, so here we have an actual really kind of tough spot. Uh, there's, there's basically a hallway, but there's dudes. There's these big pig dudes, boars, um, and they suck and they have huge spears, and if they catch you, they throw your lantern at you, and you get on fire, and then you go in jail. And that's not fun. But, you know, we'll get to that, probably. <laughs> I know at some point we're gonna get trapped. And their lanterns are definitely uh, from other Zelda games, too. Ah, see, he's looking around. He's looking a little all about it. I'm waiting for him to turn his back. Jeez it! Go, go, go! <sighs> okay, that was probably the fastest I've ever done that. And into the next one. Okay, so this room has two floors. Um, and uh, where would, what do these things say? Hi. There's a rat somewhere. I smell a rat. Shut up, rat. Shut up, rat. I don't need the money. Let's just keep going. Alright, so now we got another hallway. Um,. I'm going the way I'm, I think I'm supposed to go. There's only one dude in here, so we can probably make it to the other end pretty fast. Hey, what's going on? <gasps> what you what? Oh, huh? Oh, 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 you're looking in the total wrong direction. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, a big stupid head. I'm a big stupid head boar. Huh? Huh? Oh, what's that? Huh? Huh? Oh, there's nothing. Oh, it's just a rat. Oh, those rats are assholes here, because they will hit you with a barrel. This is, this is my, this is what I remember probably most about the beginning of this game. Huh? 
that rat hitting me and then me losing money and going to prison and it sucked. And then they take your money too. It's greedy. Greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. What am I doing? Ah, okay, he's over there. I'm gonna have to go around, like... I'm sorry, I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it goes behind the wall and then I'll have to cheese it. Ah. <sighs> 